Hello again gamers, this year is definitely all about animal survival games and the most recent one I have for you is called Primal Earth. Aiming to come out in the third quarter of 2023, Primal Earth is an open world animal survival game where you grow, survive, and fight in the beautiful biomes of the continent of Africa. You can work together to increase your odds while bringing up the next generation, explore, interact, and hone your skills to develop your character and become even stronger. This game has some of the most progress of any animal survival game I have seen in recent years. And that makes sense since it's been in development since September 2020. Primal Earth is an online multiplayer game with the potential for a single player experience in an upcoming story mode. It is only coming out on PC and is available on Steam where you can wishlist it. The roster for playable animals on the release date will be Lioness, Zebra, Elephant, Giraffe, and Wildebeest. Donating to the game is honestly super affordable. You can do it through their Patreon or through their PayPal. The Primal Tier Donation Rewards is just a one-time payment of $5 and includes behind-the-scenes content, early access code, exclusive content, work-in-progress updates, exclusive voting power, and priority in general support. The Legendary Tier is $20 and includes everything in the Primal Tier along with a Legendary Skin. The Mythical Tier is $50 and includes the legendary skin, two emotes for your specific animal, and a mythical skin. The Hunted plans to have their models be as realistic as possible, so much so that some of them are actually going to have visible genitalia, so just be aware of that before you play the game. I chose a specific few to show you here, but if you would like to see the rest of the models, you can look in their Discord, which I will have in the description. When it comes to gameplay, there will be two game modes, Survival and Sandbox. Sandbox will be the first mode available for the quality assurance testing. Animals of the same type will be able to group together, and there will be no limits on the amount of people that can be in said group. However, there will not be any mix packing allowed. There is a growth system in place where you will start as a baby, grow into an adult, and beyond into what they're calling a primal form. They have not expanded on this, but I am assuming that it just makes you a more powerful version overall of whatever animal you play. The shortest growth time is planned to be 30 minutes, with the longest being 3-4 to four hours. You will be able to nest with each animal having its own specific type, as well as being able to set your gender preference for your playable character. Predators will be able to carry their babies in their mouth, but herbivores are going to be quote unquote born to run. They do plan to have a large selection of colors for the skin system so that you can customize your playable character to your heart's content. The combat promises to be much more than your typical hit and run tactic that you see in many other survival games. Each creature will have special mechanics such as climbing, pouncing, tripping, and dominance fights. Some specific abilities that they have revealed would be Elephant's Rampage, which increases the speed and attack power, Giraffe Stomp, which is a powerful kick, Zebra's KO Kick, which can actually knock the attacker out, the Wildebeest Charge, and the Lioness's Suffocating Bite, which drains the stamina and the life from your prey's eyes. The thing that I'm most excited for is the Territory mechanic, where you'll be able to claim a spot of the map and you have to keep up and manage that map by calling and patrolling your territory. People who want to take over your territory have to first lower your efficiency and with that they will be able to either come in and you can fight to the death or you can run them off. Night vision is a thing as you can see with the animals on the screen and it will vary between different creatures. There will be some AI animals for smaller predators to hunt, but they want to keep the focus on player versus player interactions. One of the things that I really love about this survival game is it seems to have a larger roster of herbivores than carnivores, which seems to be exactly the opposite of what everything else does. The weather system currently has six different variations, with each one being sunny, cloudy, light rain, heavy rain, storming, and dust storm. It's actually pretty crazy to look at and it's part of the reason why I want to support this game so much. That's about all I have for you on Primal Earth so far. I hope you're just as excited as I am for this game. The rest of this video is just gameplay clips so sit back, relax, enjoy what you see. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.
Okay, let's go find the others. 